Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Career Chats with RK. So in this video we are going to see most asked SQL queries for the above roles and the roles are SQL developer, W developer, data analyst, business intelligence, power BI developer, analyst and lot more roles are there. Um, so let's start our SQL queries most asked SQL queries in the interviews so I have taken these queries from the live interviews so let's practice those queries who's frequently asked in the interviews so I have created the following table as you can see I have created one table that are named uh, the table name is company employees and in that table I have seven columns and eight rows so if you want to create your own table you can create your own table and if you want to create a same table like this so i will paste this all syntax into the description box so you can uh, easily create your table from there as well so let's start with the our queries so i have created this table and uh, i will paste it into the description box you can create so let's start our first query that is write a query to get all employee details from company employee detail table. So I have this company employee detail table and I want to fetch all the records from this table. So we need to write a one query that is select star means all you need to specify a column name if you want or if you want to fetch all the data from the table you need to use star. So star means all from that table. So select star from company employees table so it will show us all the data from that table and you need to execute so I have already fetched this table so that's why it will showing the same result so this is the query to fetch all the records from table then the next query is write a query to get only first name column from employee table so for that we have specifier star here so just you need to I will copy paste for this query and replace of that star you need to specify whatever column you want to fetch so I want to fetch first name so I will write the first name only so select first name from company employees okay so when you execute this query so as you can see it will only fetches the first name column okay then we will move to the our third query that is write a query to get first name in uppercase format okay so as you can see now we have a first name in the lowercase characters now I want this all first name into the uppercase so we have a case manipulation functions in SQL that is upper lower init so let's write the one query that is select upper so what we want to manipulate so we manipulate we want to manipulate first name into the uppercase so let's put the first name select upper first name from company employees table so what will upper character does it will replace all the small characters into the upper lower characters into the upper function so let's execute this query so as you can see our all small characters are replaced with the uh, upper characters ok so likewise same query and in this query you just need to uh, replace your characters into the lower case so as I have already said we have upper lower in it you know, so likewise replace of upper you need to just replace it into the lower so select lower first name from company employees we want this all characters into the lower format so execute this query and you will get this all characters into the lower format okay so as you can see the all characters first names are replaced with the lower format then we have a one query that is 
write a query for combine first name and last name and display its uh, it as name also include white space between first name and last name so first understand the query so we have i will first execute this so as you can see we have first name and last name in our table so basically these uh, two are the different columns but in this query what we want we want to combine these two columns into the single query and uh, shows this uh, two columns into a single column and for that column you want to name it as name column and between these two names we want one space as well so for that we need to write one query that is select first name okay first name then we want plus then white space then again plus last name okay so basically what we do here we select the first name and this is the white space that we want to uh, give into our first name and last name so select first name plus white space plus last name okay so what it will basically does it will combine these two columns into a single column and we want to show it as name column as name from company employees table so as you can see now i will execute this so you can see we have a uh, like successfully executed and we have shown first name then we have white space into the these two names and then we have last name and we have shown the name column of that table so that's it for this query next move to the next query that is select the company employees whose name is bob okay so we want to select uh, the company employee uh, whose name is bob so for that we need to use select star from company employees and whose name is bob so we need to specify where first name is equal to bob so basically it's a string character so you need to write it into a quote so execute this so as you can see we have a employee id 3 whose first name is bob so let's move to the seventh query that is we want to get all employees uh, like all employee detail from company employees table whose first name starts with letter a so we want basically those employee ids whose first name starts with a so for that you need to use like this is a matching we want the matching value whose name starts with a so we want the matching value so for matching pattern we use like operator in the sql so select star from company employees where where first name like so now we want to show whose first name starts with a so first name like in the quote you need to specify the name and after that use the percent with the like operator you need to use the percent as well and now with the help of this query you can get the employee ids whose first name starts with a now execute this query so as you can see the fourth employee id whose first name starts with a so that's it for this query just remember this thing you need to use like operator while matching the characters okay then we will move to the our eighth query that is get all the employee details from company employee table whose first name contains a so for that you need to use like operator again because we want that employee details from company employee table whose first name contains a so in this query we only fetch that employee whose name starts with a 
but in this query we want whose name contains a as well so let's write the query that is select star from company employee table where first name like so now we want this employee whose first name contains the letter a so for that you need to specify the letter percent a again percent and complete the query so this will shows us those employees whose first name contains the letter a so as you can see all these employee names contains the letter a on that names so this is the our eighth query then we have a ninth query that is get all employee details from company employee table whose first name uh, sorry whose first name ends with e so let's start with the query that is select in this query as well we need to use uh, like operator because it is also a matching pattern so select star from employee where first name so now in this query we want the employee like in the seventh query we fetch the employee whose name starts with a in this eighth query we fetch the employee whose name contains uh, a later and in this query we want the first uh, employees whose name ends with e okay so like then the quote okay and after that percent and e so this query shows us the employee names whose names ends with e so as you can see this four employees names we ends with e so when you want to shows the names whose ends with e you need to specify the percent operator before the our uh, value then if you want to show the uh, like any character uh, contains so you need to specify percent uh, left and right as well and in the middle your character and if you want to show the employee name whose starting letter then specify first starting letter and then percent sign and quote is compulsory okay then our last query i will write it again so then our last query is get all the employee details from company employee table whose first name start with any single character between a and p so basically we want here that first name contains a and p characters on that names so for that we need to write one query that is select star from company employees where first name like so basically what we uh, want here we want to find the employees whose name contains a and p character and after that a and p you need to specify percent and complete the quote okay so this query shows you the employee first names whose names contains the a or p character so let's execute this query so as you can see in this first names a and p characters are there okay so that's it for this query and that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you like please do like and subscribe for the channel and if you want to create this same table i will uh, paste the uh, table syntax and uh, insert value syntax into the description box you can create your own table so thank you guys thank you so much